Welcome back. We're talking about an event happening this weekend to raise awareness for type 1 diabetes. Now, type 1 is found in about 5 to 10 percent of people, according to the CDC, and currently there's no way to prevent it. And this Saturday is the JDRF One Walk at Kleiner Park in Meridian. So joining us now is Amy Colgan and Charlotte Swenson to talk about the walk. First of all, thank you, ladies, both for being here today on the News at 4. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> right, so we're talking about type 1 diabetes, and I know you have it, Charlotte. Um, walk us through what it's like to live with type 1 diabetes, first of all. Um, so I was diagnosed when I was five, and my lifestyle was very different when I found out. Uh, my parents had to wake up in the middle of the night and test my blood sugar, mm. and just feeling low is not a good feeling, and it, I get tired more easily and stuff, and it's just harder. So I know, uh, I think a lot of people have heard of type 1 diabetes, but how does that differ from maybe type 2? Um, so type 2 is where you have to go on a like, diet and stuff, and type 1 is where it's more on like insulin and stuff and your pancreas. All right. And then, you know, we're talking about this event that's happening this weekend. Uh, walk us through what the event's all about, first of all. Yeah, yeah. So we're having our walk for uh, diabetes on Saturday. Uh, we're raising money for type 1 diabetes research for JDRF, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. It's the world's largest nonprofit that funds type 1 diabetes research. And their mission is to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, uh, but also funding really important research to try and prevent and also have better treatments for type 1 until we have that cure. So we're raising money, um, but also getting the type 1 diabetes community together. You know, you were saying, Amy, that you've been involved for seven years volunteering. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, how important is it for you to be a part of this? It's, it's very important. Um, so I've been volunteering here in Boise for about seven years. Um, I was diagnosed with type 1 as well when I was 14. Um, and so it's just, I think it's so important to get the type 1 diabetes community together. It just makes such a difference to meet other families and other individuals that have type 1 or caregivers that have type 1 um, because they just understand what you're talking about and they understand how hard it is to live with this disease. It's 24 seven, there's really no breaks. It's it's just really hard, and but when you're able to meet other people that understand what you're talking about or they see your CGM or your pump, like <laughs> that's just like, that's my favorite part about, about this walk. It's kind of like a club, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. You, you each can understand what each other's <laughs> yeah. going through. Yeah, absolutely. So if folks are watching right now, I mean, how can they get involved if they'd like to participate maybe? Yeah, so you can visit our website. It's uh, walk.jdrf.org forward slash Treasure Valley. Um, you can make a team, you can donate. Um, even, if, even if you're not able to make a team, we still welcome everyone to come out to the walk. Um, it's free to come and join us and be part of the community, but we'd love for you to fundraise and um, make a team and celebrate with us. All right, Amy, Charlotte, thank you so much for joining us here on the News at Four. We really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right Thanks back. So yeah, thank you.